it's Kaz here I'm back with another video and in today's video we are doing a freezer inventory and also I am reorganizing my freezer so this is a great idea just to help you save a bit of money and um, by knowing exactly what is in your freezer and then you can shop your freezer before you do your food shop this week I'm hoping to save a bit of money um, by just mostly making meals from my freezer so my freezer is located in my shed <laughs> so um, here I am and um, I have a board above it um, and it has an old inventory on top yes yeah, so our chest freezer is out in our shed and um, so ignore all the cobwebs and uh, the shed's not in the greatest condition so excuse that and the wires um, but it just means that it's not in our house and it's not taking up any room and we feel quite lucky to have a chest freezer it means we can stock up on some items and uh, we don't need to worry about storage um, so yeah, first off, I'm going to start by just giving it a quick clean, getting rid of the old um, inventory. It, none of it applies anymore. Um, and then I am going to go into my freezer and I basically just put all of the food items into different categories into um, washing baskets. Um, so here you can see, yeah, it was very messy. <laughs> um, the kids were just throwing stuff in um, and I myself even were throwing stuff in so it was just all over the place and I didn't have a very good idea of everything that was in here so I thought it was a good idea to do and it's a great idea to do just every couple of months. So here I'm just taking everything out and I'm putting it into different washing baskets just so that it's all into the different categories that I want to do. So I did meat, vegetables, carbs and uh, miscellaneous items. So I put them all into different um, washing baskets. And um, yeah, as you can see here, it took a while, but I have actually sped it up for you so you don't have to watch that. If only it was this fast in real life. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. it's a hard task to do. If You can actually wear gloves and it won't um, be as hard on your hands. But I didn't bother here. I just decided to get done nice and quick. Um, yeah, so we're left with our uh, emptied freezer. Um, so it's not too frosty. If it was really frosty, I would actually defrost it as well. But instead I just gave it a quick clean out um, just so that there was no food in the bottom. So here I am uh, writing out my inventory and I'm just taking a note of all the different things I have. I put meat uh, first because a lot of our meals are based around the meat. Um, and then I did veg on the other side and carbs so that means then I can have a good idea of different meals that we can make and also I put bread up near the top because we are using bread quite often uh, my family eats quite a lot of it so between sandwiches for lunch and schools so I'm just going through it all and then I did miscellaneous last I actually put some fruit into fruit bags so it was nice and quick to make into smoothies and I just measured it out so I knew what the portions were there. So then next it was time to restock the freezer. Um, I've just putting things first on this little shelf. Um, it's a great little shelf that our freezer has and it means that I can reach stuff um, that's not quite in the bottom of the freezer. So I just wanted little bits and bobs on that shelf um, and things that I would be afraid would be lost in the freezer and anything delicate as well. So I've put convenience meats there at the top and then on the bottom part of that shelf, I have um, put in ice packs. So if the kids have an injury or um, the kids want to put them in lunch boxes or for a picnic, so nice and easy to grab. And then next I'm putting in fruit because if that's not put on this shelf, it won't get eaten. Um, so I'm putting that in here and it's basically like Jenga, just trying to fit everything in. Um, this shelf is the most bits and bobs there is. 
And then we have this great little basket. Um, I actually want to get another one of these because they're just brilliant. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot of the miscellaneous items in that basket. And I'm just checking to see will it still slide across um, because that's how I'm able to see what is in that shelf. Um, so I'm just sliding it up and down just to make sure it will slide. Then I have these great little tubs. Um, I got these just in the pound shop and I have vegetables in the bottom too. And then next I have meat in the last one then. And so it just means that you can reach them um, without having to um, try and find things in the bottom of the freezer. So you can just pull them out and you can see there I tried to get it to fit um, on the side, but it wouldn't actually. Um, we have quite a compact chest freezer. We just needed it to fit in our shed. Um, so I put ice at the bottom there because we don't use ice as often. Um, and then we are putting in the carbs. So I have the waffles going in and then some chips and wedges are going in as well. Um, and I also have some frozen Mexican rice and that's all thrown in the bottom. So all the carbs will be in the middle compartment. Um, and then I'm just stacking the bread. Um, the bread's really annoying. It takes up loads of space, um, but it's great ha not having to go to the shop all the time. Um, and it just defrosts really quickly. So it's brilliant. Yeah, which is great. Um, so yeah, I have my veg on the bottom, then my meat on top. So they're in tubs, which are easy to grab. Then I have some bread and carbs in the middle, which is brilliant. And then on this side, then I have my miscellaneous on top. I have some meat at that side and then I have some fruit. So all of that's easy to grab and I can slide the tray. I have some ice pops there and some uh, milk that was left over and also some applesauce. Um, so yeah, it's all easy to grab for kids. I have some Cretho there for any meals. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice and organized and easy to get hold of. Um, which hopefully will stay this way now. And I'm planning to do this again in about a month. So here is my board. Um, I have all my categories written out here, um, so they're easy to see. And I'll update them when, as and when we're using stuff and adding stuff. So I have my meat here with all the different things that um, are in the meat section. Um, and then I also have over here, my um, carbs so i have the bread wedges chips and waffles so they're all easy to see and easy to grab um and then i have my veg so um we go through quite a lot of veg um but yeah i can see it all here and it's easy to change and then here I have other and fruit, so I'm able to see them and grab them. As you can see, I've written too many ice pops. I was not going to count all of them. Um, but yeah, I have all of my uh, things written here and I can just see exactly what to use. Some of this stuff has been in the freezer for a while, so we do need to use it up. And so yeah, there's a full rundown of my inventory. So I've actually taken a photo of that and um, I'm going to keep it on my phone. Um, and then I can update it if we are about to do a food shop. Yeah, so that's my uh, freezer done. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, it can seem so overwhelming to try and organize a big chest freezer like this. Um, I am hoping to get another one of those baskets in the future, um, but for now this will do. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any freezer organization tips, please share them below. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to save money because you have no idea what's in your freezer um, if you don't organize it. And by doing an inventory, you will know you won't be buying extras of things you don't need. Um, an important thing to remember is it doesn't matter how reduced something is in the shop. If you have a few of them already at home, there's probably no point buying them. It's just a possibility of causing food waste. So yeah, I hope you found this video. Subscribe if you're not already and I will chat to you soon. Mm -hmm.